Hi Stampers, it's Tina Shaw. Tina Shaw.stampinup.net is my Stampin' Up website. And uh, if you ever want to look at um, what's the specials or just the catalogs or some projects or to shop or to join Stampin' Up, um, that's where you can go. So today I just thought I would get on for a couple minutes and just make a card or two using some of the sets that are retiring um, the end of this month because the uh, new annual catalog is coming out. Um, it'll be live on June 3rd. So if you don't have your catalog yet, uh, let me know and I will get one in your hands. And if you do have one, um, then you're ahead of the game, making your wish list, I'm sure. So anyhow, um, the reason that I wanted to make these is because I had already purchased uh, some stamp sets and then uh, we didn't get a chance to use them in class because of the corona um, virus, the quarantine, stay at home order. So anyway, I just thought this was really a cute set and I wanted to make a couple of cards. So this is the one that I chose, Music from the Heart. It's a really cute set. This was Don Okoshevsky's, hard to say, um, million dollar card set. Um, yeah, she was one of the million dollar sellers in the company last year. So anyhow, it's a really cute set. So I'm going to work on that one first and maybe another one okay see you in a minute right. Bye. so for this card I'm going to use a white card base a piece of black cardstock cut at five by four and uh, five and a quarter by four and then I'm going to add another little piece of white and this one is um, an eighth of an inch smaller than the other, so that would be five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And actually, that's the one that I'm going to do my stamping on. So I have this stamp out of this set <coughs> that looks like the, um, I don't, I forget what they're called. Uh, this thing. I'm terrible. And I'm going to ink it up in black. I remember when I was in school in music class and they had a, a um, holder that would hold chalk. That's two, four, five, five lines there. Let's see if this ink pad is working. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp this about right here on my card. Somebody who knows what that's called, tell me, because I can't think. And then I'm going to take this cute little um, note that has a little heart on it, and I'm going to stamp this one in black. And I think I'm going to start about right here. And then I'm going to come over here. down one more then I'm gonna start going back up higher one two three four five looks like I'm only getting six this time okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little splotch of uh, a stamp and this is from the beautiful you set and um, this one also is retiring, so if you want that one, you need to get on that too. You can still order it. Okay, so this one is Poppy Red. And so what I'm going to do is kind of just go... Ah, cute! Now, every time with this one, you're going to have to... Let me find my cleaner here. You're going to have to clean the stamp because I'm changing colors here. So I'm clearing off the red. Now I'm gonna do yellow. This one is daffodil. If you wanted to, you could actually um, stamp off if you wanted a little bit lighter. I kinda like the dark myself. Okay, there we 
There was your daffodil. Here is Granny Apple Green. I'm going to stamp this one right here. Cute. Clean. I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. That should be pretty. Okay, now I'm going back up again. Cute. A couple more. I'm going to go with the Highland Heather. Cute. Just throwing these out of the way. And then my last one is Bermuda Bay. Just kind of some bright colors here. Oh, cute. Love it. Okay. So now let me close up all these tags so I don't get ink all over me. Now, I'm going to take, which one? I wanted to do, oh, the little heart. I don't know if I'm going to do that one this time. I had words out. I thought I had the words. I think I didn't have the words out yet. I'm going to do, um, how about, let's do... Happy birthday. That's always a generally good saying to put on a card, right? Let's do happy birthday. La la. Okay, now I can take and put this onto my black layer. I'm going to use on there. <laughs> put that on here. Just your little bitty border layer sticking out there. I, I don't know why, just lately I've been liking the smaller little accent on my paper. Okay, and then this one need to use my uh, bone folder because it's not quite laying down right. Okay. And so now I'm just going to pop that on, or not pop. Well, I could actually pop that. Let's pop that. That's a good idea. Ah, came up with something I didn't even know. All right. So this one's almost, there we go. And there there and there okay take off my backs okay. throw those away and then put this on here like that super easy card really cute then what I thought too, I didn't get out either, was some cute little, uh-huh, how about Noble Peacock gems here, rhinestones or gems, whatever you want to call these. This is pretty. Let's do this color like over here. Purple here. Um, here's a pink. Let's do one down here. Green, granny apple. Right there. Okay, so I don't have a daffodil and I don't have a red on there. That looks cute. Let's just do another green. And then just another pink. we go. There you go. A real quick, easy card.
card. Um, just to add whatever colors you like, whatever saying you like, and um, let me know if you like that one. So I'll be back in a minute with another card. Okay, thanks. <laughs> 